All right, so hey guys, good morning. This is your boy Ruki Rider. Welcome back to another vlog, and I'm reporting all the way from Nubra Valley. So yeah, we just left from our hotel, and uh, we are going to this uh, Buddha statue. So the hotel guys, they said they will, there will be a Buddha statue, a very big one. So we are visiting there now. So all the guys already went there. I'm late and uh, Ganesh is on back of me so yeah let's go so we got some cart road here i guess a small one and look at that view guys ah, awesome awesome views ah, bah, bah, bah. the view was very good I guess we just reached and uh, this is the entrance gate yeah 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 so I guess we have to take the entrance ticket here so yeah it costs uh, 30 rupees for a bike and 50 rupees for car and if you are carrying any drone you have to uh, pay another 500 rupees to carry the drone inside so yeah as you guys can see there so chalo So guys we just reached here and uh, look at the statue so and also guys look at this view wow this is the Nubra valley so you guys can see that yesterday it was uh, literally dark so that I can't vlog and also my GoPro battery was dead alright guys so we just left from there and uh, we are in search of a petrol bunk now so for me the half of the tank is left but for 390 and himalayan the petrol is low so so yeah we are searching for a petrol bank now so with the help of some local guys we got this uh, petrol bunk and uh, yeah it's all right and we refueled and by the way guys i forgot to tell you one thing uh, the grapid stop mobile holder which i bought was broken and i don't know how but i posted that on instagram and uh, the grand pit stop promised me to give me the new one without any cost and uh, no questions asked look at this guys so it was broken so yeah let's go refueling is done we'll move to nubra so guys yesterday we uh, rode on the same road so this is how it look and uh, yesterday it was very dark while we are on this road so we are riding back the road because we have to take the left i mean uh, on the same road to Khardungla so yeah so this is the valley valley Nubra valley as you guys can see so it is totally covered with mountains on everywhere 360 degrees it was mountains and uh, this is uh, Nubra so we get uh, ATVs here we plan to get them but yesterday they are not available so yeah there it is look at the views guys wow
so we just took that left from there I guess you can't see that so we have to take that left and if we go straight we have we'll be going to Kardongla and uh, you have, if you take this left we'll be going to Pangong Lake and uh, you guys can see the sand to my right yeah so this is sand you have to take care I mean you have to be cautious this will be on roads everywhere on the way to Pangong so yeah you have to be cautious I guess we are in trouble now so I guess you guys saw this location in many more motovloggers videos but uh, at that time there is no water here but we got some water so this is a very tough water crossing for us maybe so let's see let's move ahead Look at that, even the duster is struggling to go. I guess that's a four wheel drive and that's struggling to move. I mean that's struggling to cross. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Malian can do I know. But the main thing is about uh, RC390 and RS200. So Vivek is doing now, not bad, I guess we can do this. All right guys, so now it's my turn. So let's go. Look at the water flow. Oh. I guess that will be so chilled. But yeah, I can do this. Yeah, there are like big big rocks in the bottom of the water <laughs> and the water is so chilled wow, wow. yeah not bad it's not that tough all right so next rc390 
so everyone is here and i guess the water went inside my shoes so let's check it so yeah mm, yeah i can feel it <laughs> literally water inside ah uh, everything is wet inside ah uh, wow look at that guys <laughs> water <laughs> So I guess the water went from the top because it's so deep. I mean, the water crossing was deep, and uh, yeah. Alright, so alright, guys. So everyone is here. I guess uh, Dominar one Dominar is on the other side. Uh, so yeah, let's go and uh, we, the water crossing is done, and we'll move forward to Pangong Lake. Hello. Ah, ba ba We just crossed one water crossing. Just, just now, just now, and there is other one. But this look like uh, simple to do. Yeah, this is a uh, not that tough. The main thing is if we had this these type of rocks when we are crossing the water, that's an issue. But this is a plain road, so yeah, no problem. Easy, bro, easy. Alright guys, so we are close to Pangong Lake. I guess uh, there will be another 10 to 20 kilometers, and the time is 7:20 in the evening, guys. <laughs> so time. Look at the sky and look at the light. So the 7:30, I mean 7:20 here. And yeah, I'll catch you guys back once we are in Pangong Lake. So guys we just reached Pangong Lake uh, so you guys can see the blue lake to my left so that's Pangong Lake for you and uh, so next we'll be going to the three idiots point where we can see the three seats and uh, the scooter I hope you guys can see that things in the movies so yeah let's go and uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit Please, yeah. There will be a scooter and uh, the three seats. So here they are. All right, guys. So we just reached the Pangong Lake, and here it is. And here it is. This is how it looks like. And we are taking some photos here. And after that we'll go there there and take some room or tent and we'll stay sleep for tonight and uh, yeah that's the update and also I'm signing off now so here is a bike for you so see you guys tomorrow the next vlog until then rookie signing off bye bye